Hello, everybody. Thank you for joining me. This is GGF, bringing you a return to a series that we haven't played in a while. This will be episode seven of Let's Try Legends of Amberland. Let's get into it. So I actually recorded this episode. I'm, I'm kind of dealing with some tooth pain, so if I sound a little weird, just please bear with me. I recorded this episode ages ago, and uh, it turns out, well, I wasn't recording, actually. It was a blank screen or something like that. So I'm going to replay. Uh, see, I wrote seven wasn't recording. We're going to start at six and try to work our way through again and do a proper level episode seven. So I have not played this in ages. And honestly, I don't really remember a ton from it. So we have Kegrith, the Dwarf Knight, in slot number four here. Let's start at the left flank. Lythian, the Elf Sage. She's got Arcane Mastery, um, Knowledge and Willpower. Let's, um, this is the character sheet. Uh, is there something that shows our abilities? Let's we'll go to magic. Okay, she's got all sorts of magic. Um, that she can cast. Then we've got Bozier, the Battlesmith. He can cast some magic, and he also is decently strong. He's got awareness, knowledge added to dexterity for the purpose of evade. He's got 29 evade, which is pretty high, it seems. Um, and he's a dwarven battlesmith. who's resist cold inborn resistance then we have an elf mage knight Lena who has the highest armor we've seen thus far nine armor points tactics knowledge effects crit chance I don't see crit chance here she's immune to poison paralysis mesmerize and petrify she's currently afraid chance to skip combat turn decrease damage and hit chance we'll have to deal with that She's got some magic too, some healing magic and some attack magic. Then we've got Kegrith in the middle, who has no magical talent, but he's hecka strong. With the highest armor, and he's a dwarven knight. Pretty self-explanatory there. Then we've got a half-elf champion, Virene, who's afraid and mesmerized. Can't use magic or special ability. Not quite sure how we fix that. Bonus damage against sorcer sorcerers and warlocks. So he's pretty tough. Then we've got our first human, a troubadour, is Suda. With the highest evade we've seen, an arcane. She's got heal and some interesting magic. Okay, let's um, remove afraid status from her and do it again remove afraid inspire courage in him was there any remove mesmerized there was not so that's a suda she resists fire and cold her damage is reduced and then finally we've got a dwarf troll slayer hetgrad who is the strongest in the party. Bonus damage against trolls. Um, and he's pretty tough, but does not use magic. Alright, so... Inventory-wise... We can see what everybody's wearing. Just kind of a... Quick peek. You know, we still got a long way to go, guys. We're still very early in this game. Wow. Well, Lena's pretty decked out. So is Kegrith. And Irene. And this Suda. We'll get into this deeper, of course, as we play. Troll Slayers can't use shields and have one less accessory slot. Ouch. Alright, let's um what's this info? Completed quests, titles and awards, information on Western territories. Quest in progress. Okay, collect three exotic delicacies for the cook. 
These food items can be found around the world. Find the forgotten crown. This is our grand quest to find, retrieve, and bring back the mysterious crown, which was mentioned in the royal annals. Obtain letter to the grand librarian from either the northern or the southern sage. We were in the northern tower. We're going to return there. Bring three ancient orbs to the royal wizard. Raid the ogre forts and slay the ogre commanders. We were in the middle of doing that, but we weren't tough enough. Retrieve the iron hammer for the master shield crafter. There is a ton of cool stuff to do in this game. Free Obardian, the oldest wizard in the land. The owner of the Tower of the Northern Winds was imprisoned by his apprentice. You need to clear this tower from all sorcerers and colleagues of the apprentice that took over the tower before the wizard will agree to leave his chamber. So that's what we're going to work on, actually. We're going to do that. Um, does Spacebar do anything? I forget. Let's back up a little bit. Ah. How to get... Wait. We should go this way. Where the heck? Oh, I'm... I'm, I'm sorry. Oh. I guess we're fighting. Execute the last attack. Let's go attack. Um, Lena. Tag. 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 Isuda. Miss. Um, restore 33% MP. Let's go ahead and do Power Fist, I guess. 82, nice. And then Hit Grad. We need to rest to replenish it. His special ability. Kegrith. Lena. Irene. Boom. 50 gold, 200 XP. Okay. I'm kind of being surrounded and I don't feel right. <laughs> All right, so we got to use the mini-map a little bit more. Is there a quick save button? Um, how do I rename it? New save. 7A. Okay. Let's see. Was it F5 was the quick save button? Oh, man. My keyboard is, is uh, darkened for this game for some reason. Yes, it is. Okay. All right. Let's come over this way gonna take a little bit to get reacquainted with the game aha okay but I promise it'll get better here we are in the tower so we've got to clear this tower of any threats this first floor seems pretty clear guys did I do this already and this was off camera Okay, there's more. There's the former apprentice. Um, missed. Uh, let's do a power fist. Did zero. He does. Okay, he does more damage against sorcerers. Sharpness ten percent. Party bonuses. Damage plus 10%. Yeah, let's do magic sharpness. Um, Isuda. Strength plus 5. Let's do an inspiration. And you can, um... Magic arrow did zero. How do we look at him? Can we detailed info about the monster? Well, first let's attack. Missed. Resist to fire, resist to cold, immune to lightning. Okay, good to know. We should be able to take this guy on. 
Um, Kegrith. Oh, oh snap. Power Fist is lightning, so that's going to be a no-go. You have a very weak heal. Oh, more wizards are coming in the background. Um, he resists fire, but it's better than... No, it's not. Six. Let's use a heal on... Oh, dang. Gotta reload. Autosave. So I guess I... Did I load the right save? Yeah, because my map has been never explored up, up this way, so this is new. Yep, this is brand new. Alright, these... Whoops. I don't have info on these guys. Okay, now I'm stuck fighting two of them. That's not gonna work. Oh, that kind of works. Attack. Resist fire and cold. Um, probably just gotta beat them with melee. We can charge, attack both at once. That worked well. Charge, attack both at once. Oh, he's mesmerized. Boom. Physical seems to be working good. Oh, he can do a stun. Um... You know what, let's put the spell book away and just attack. And a Suda. For now, just um, heal Lena. And you always do magic, light the end, so do a power fist. 69, nice. At grad, Oh. Boom, oh boy. Oh boy. Uh, power fist. 46. Attack. Uh, honestly, just attack. Got him. Okay, now we got to heal. Nice. Um, power fist. 105. Heck red. 46. Kelgrith. Boom. We just gotta wipe these guys out. He can attack a little bit. She can... Go ahead and heal uh, Omi here. Oh, wow. And you do a magic arrow? Oh, just 20? Okay. 100 gold, 400 XP. Let's dash... The Mysterious Properties of Magic Dust. You've already read this book. Um, it's a quick save because we made some progress. Obardian, right, he's not leaving the room. So we've used for Magic Dust for beginners. Um, we only have one healer. There's him. Oh, let's get these crystals. 50 XP, one crystal. Okay, we'll battle you while we can. And attack 41. Heal Calgrith. Another power feast 44. And oh, oh man, got him 50 gold, 200 XP. We'll stay near the door. Um, wonder if I can rest. Oh, we have one and one. Uh, quick rest. I don't know. Fifty XP 
coffee and a crystal. There's homie. Nice. Oh. behind him. Alright, let's tango. 84. Um, let's attack. Boom. Uh, let's attack. Uh, let's add a sharpness bonus to the party. Um, Magic to heal her. Oh, we picked right because he attacked her. Um, she's got to heal all. Let's go ahead and use it. We've got Hickrad. Nice attack. Missed. Um, attack 72. Critical. Another critical. Another critical. Keep it going. Hammer, don't hurt him. Uh, honestly, like, he does resist that, so... What would we do? 24, we'll take it. He is almost a goner. 54. 44. Um, 27, let's go ahead and... He oh, no, she's out of heal. She's gonna die. Play your song. And finish him. <laughs> Got him. 50 gold, 200 XP. Got him. Alright, let's work on this guy. Elven touch. Missed. 58. We're still getting damage plus 10%. Um, heal. Perfect. Power feast. 88. Now 96. 35. 52. 50 gold, 200 XP. Quick save. Loving it. Feels great to be back, guys. Okay, who are these guys again? Young Sorcerer. What is his story? Resistance to fire, and that's it. So you get into business. 96. That sharpness makes a huge difference. Wow. 40 gold, 120 XP. Gotta be almost taken out. There's something over here. A couple things weird over here. An orb, a chest. Let's go, son. Quick save. Boom. 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 Power feast. Only 20. Wow, this young sorcerer is kind of giving us the business a little bit. Let's touch Kalgrith there. Um, use a little spark, maybe. Thought that was not good. Our feast, 17. Wow. This guy is kind of giving us the business. 40 and 120. Um, let's use a full rest now. It seems like a good time to use a full rest. Oh, yeah. Look at that. All ramped up and ready to go. Boom. Uh, boom. Boom. Don't need to sharpen against this guy. 94. 105. Dang. 
more crystals, which I don't remember what to do with. Uh, chest. Shall we, guys? Or shall we see what's in this orb? Very magical creature. You saw that the orb housed a small winged creature. You decide to shatter the glass in order to free the poor fellow. Thank you. You are my personally favorite, most heroic adventures ever. Here, take this bag of magic dust as a reward for freeing me. Uh, uh, bag of magic dust times two. I don't know if we should have freed him, actually. Let's... Let's load the quick save. I mean, it, it, role playing wise, I'd want to, of course. 351 gold, mithril helmet, mithril mail, and enchanted elven blade. Nasty. Let's see what we can do here. Elven blade always hits goblin ogres and trolls. Arcane bonus plus 10%. Is that considered uh, heal as arcane? I guess everything's arcane. So that would give her a 10% bonus, plus damage, plus 30 more percent. Um, Urban Axe. Everybody's got sort of like an enchanted elven blade. Let's go ahead and give it to her for the short sword. And check the heal now. Yeah, nasty. Much nastier heal. Armor plus seven. Armor plus four. What about you? You have armor plus nine and rolls twice for armor during combat. The better rolls used. You need to confusion and mesmerize. Made for royal advisors by the wizard Astabar. Used as the first line of defense against evil sorcerers trying to manipulate them. Especially in popular courts that have no dedicated court wizard. Tier 2 rare. Um, one second, guys. Sorry that I'm getting stuffed up here and also that my tooth is killing me. Be right back. All right, we are back. Um, let's see. I don't know who to give, like, the special gear and stuff to, really. She can use a mithril helmet. It's a mithril is an ultralight metal, and any item made of it uses up only half the encumbrance you'd expect. Gives her 19 out of 30, plus two more armor. Mithril mail. I think she's fine with the enchanted silver tra chain mail. Made of enchanted silver, immune to petrification and paralysis. He's got chain mail. She's got the Elven Sage's robe. She could put on the Mithril Mail, honestly. To protect herself. The Sage's robes. Excuse me. Knowledge plus one. We can sell the Sage's robes. And the... Excuse me. The Elven Helmet. Only has an encumbrance of three. This has an encumbrance of four. Put on the Elven Helm. No, we can sell the regular helmet, probably. Oh, I guess she can use it. We can sell the sage robe and the elven short sword, it looks like. So, uh, yeah. Let's go, son. We're not going to worry about the, fa the fairy right now. We have 1,200 gold, 11 crystals. Found in caves and magic towers. Uses currency in magic shops. Okay. That makes sense. Um, wait, do we have to go up again? Don't have to come down here. Good, I see you got rid of my apprentice and the likes of him. I'm grateful. Now what brings you here? You seek a blue orb? To locate it, I need a lot of magic dust. Start by bringing me four bags. Plus 2,000 experience. I need four bags of magic dust. You can obtain it from fairies. Evil sorcerers tend to keep them trapped in magic orbs in their tower. Go and free some, and they will surely share some magic dust with you. Okay, there we go then. Uh, I would have freed the fairy anyway. I just wanted to make sure. Okay, so that's two bags. We need two more bags, so that's going to be a while yet. 
Um, let's, I guess, head out. Just looking around for any potential secrets. I don't know if there's like false walls and stuff in this one. There might be. Alright, we go. Um, did we level up? I don't know, but let's head back and find out. Well, actually, what would we have to click? Uh, yeah, it looks like everybody leveled up nasty. All right, let's quick save. Go to the, uh, let's replenish our food. Three vegetables, three meats. Let's head to the trainer. Oh, cure poison and lightning. If light the end goes to level 10. Um, okay. Does she get a point? No. Free attribute point? Nope. Then we've got Bozier. Gets possible. Does he? Do they get these spells, or do we have to learn them, essentially? No, we get them. She got... Did she get Cure Poison? And Lightning? Oh, wow. Nasty. Very nasty. And he's going to get Fireball. 72 gold. Let's go. I think his strength went up. Cold ball for Lena. Let's watch the stats. See if they go up. Oh yeah. Willpower and toughness it looked like. Egrith. Check those stats. Oh yeah. Toughness and strength went up too I think. I know they're going up. I don't know by how much. Level up. Nasty. Dex and strength for Irene. Suda. Knowledge and willpower. Nasty. Head grad. Boom. Strength, toughness, possibly dexterity. Nobody has any attribute points, but that was nasty. He's got a one in willpower. Dang. Um, magic shop, we have crystals to spend. Available craftsman two. Many master craftsmen who were making items for shops in Amberland were kidnapped. Free them to increase the availability of items in shops. Makes sense. 120 crystals for the ultimate cloak of resistance. Tier 5 unique. A magical cape that grants resistance to all elements. 90 for the prismatic ring. Pru elixirs of toughness. Pru elixirs of strength used by master healers. Girdle of Carrying. Carry more. That's 120. We can get this stuff up in this tier. Cloak of Displacement. One third chance that the enemy's physical attack will miss regardless of hit evade calculations. That is awesome. Uh, short Sword of Accuracy. Rolls twice for damage. The better rolls used. Oh, I'm getting so stuffed up. Gosh darn it. Let's look at the regular shop. Uh, wait, what? Oh, wait, this is our stuff to sell. We can buy this basic stuff. Let's see, do we keep that? No, sell it for 10 gold. Damage bonus 100%. The longsword... Uh, I don't think anybody could use any of this stuff. It's very basic stuff. I'll look short sword, we can sell it. Old plate armor, I don't think anybody could really benefit from that. much better stuff honestly he could use a shield of some sort she could use a shield of some sort I guess that would make a difference she could use a shield so maybe three shields 
three small shields. Let's buy one, they're only 11. Oh, she's over encumbered. Ah. She needs the mithril helmet back from. Or does she need the elven helmet? Boom. Perfect. He's got four to play with, so he can't use a shield, though. He's encumbered. He can't use the shield. Unless he gets, like... A, uses the mithril mail, but then she won't be able to use anything. Can't use a shield either, so that's about it. Da, 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 okay. Yeah, we don't have much gold to buy this stuff. We can buy a girdle of strength. A cloak of protection. Fear, dexterity plus one, ranger set. We could use a bunch of this stuff, but um, I don't know. Why do I get like, like I'm underwater, man? I don't get it. One second, guys. Please bear with me. All right, guys, bear with me. I, I sprayed nasal spray. I don't know. It drives me nuts. It's only when I record too. Like I'm fine. And then all of a sudden I start recording and it's like I, be, I go underwater. It's really weird. Anywho, uh, we could get a mithril mail. Who could use the mithril mail? Could potentially get a helmet too, but where's he gonna get the helmet from? <sighs> right here, like a knight's helmet. Get him immune to fear. Lena. Needs heavier gear, even. She's got plenty of encumbrance. <laughs> He'll go down to six, then he can get a helmet and a shield, maybe. Uh, let's let's go ahead and grab the, uh, the mithril mail, I think. <laughs> could also get a cloak of displacement, though. Get her a better, better shield. But then, what would we do with the Elven small shield? Pretty much nobody could use it. She could use it and get willpower plus one, which is good for her. I think our biggest upgrade is going to be getting that Mithril Mail for him. Even though he's not attacked as much, that's the thing. She's a frontliner. These front three are attacked more often. So if I were to get her, say, the uh, silver large shield, immune to paralysis, armor plus four, she can easily wield it. It's a tier two rare. It's going to free up. But see if I get the Mithril Mail, okay, he gets plus two armor, then he can get a cheap uh, shield plus one. Uh, we could get him with gold. He 
know, AI. Like a fine... Maybe a knight's helmet, even, or that might be too much. Maybe like a f no a fine helmet's too much. Oh no, nothing really. It seems. So I think I'm gonna go overall with uh the silver large shield. Ooh. She puts that puppy on using more of her encumbrance. The elven small shield goes here. The small shield plus one that we literally just bought goes nowhere until he can get some mithril mail. Let's see what we can do. Shop. Sell the small shield back. We could get leather armor instead of chain mail or even scale mail for Hobie here. We still have 600 gold left. Old plain armor. What does she have anyway? Enchanted silver chain mail. He's got heavy chain. He can't really wear full plate yet. He's using heavy plate mail. Uh, robe of swiftness, swiftness plus one, dex plus one, hat of clarity, immune to confusion, rangers hat, dex plus one, knight's plate armor, immune to fear. Another girdle of strength. Who could use the girdle of strength if we get it? Can you use another one? Do they stack? You get him a girdle of strength. Upgrade her for our frontliners. Twelve, and he's got nine available, so we could essentially get him armor plus six protects against paralysis. We can get him a knight's plate armor, immune to fear, two more armor, and then who would get this armor? Twelve, armor six, paralysis. Yeah, I'd go to him. And he'd get one more armor and immune to paralysis. And then the chain mail could be sold. I think we'll do that. I think we'll grab the, uh, Knight's Plate Armor. Bunk. Let's go ahead and give it to homie here. Ooh. Beautiful. So I want to use that encumbrance up because that's what it's for. These guys are frontliners. They need to be, you know, taking the brunt of things. Awesome. So we are Gucci. Good to go. No more crystals left. No more gold left. We have food. We only need 3,000 to level up. Let's sell the uh, chain mail. And let's go, Elven Healer. Oh, that's how you remove. Oh, and you need vials to brew it. Interesting. Heal Bozier. Is this Bozier? No, that's Virene. Okay. Remove all negative effects except petrified. That's how it works. Got it. So we can get rid of that mesmerized. But anyway. 
Let's see, we're going to save here. Is it time to call it quits? Yep, 40 minutes in. So next time, guys, uh, I don't know. Maybe we'll head down here a bit. Check out some other things, trying to get a feel for things again. Maybe try to go take on the commander, the orc commanders, or the ogre commanders down here. Whatever it is, guys, I hope you'll join me again as we return here for a fun little little uh, foray into Amberland. Hope you guys enjoyed this. Thank you for watching, and I hope you'll stick with me because there's much more to come. I don't know if there's much more to come, but there's more to come. I'm going to keep playing it for a bit. So hope to see you guys then. Until then, be well, guys. Much love, peace, and joy. And I will see you in the next one. Feel free to watch the older episodes in this. Just search on my channel for Amberland. And yeah, take care, guys. Bye-bye.